Okay, folks, this is a little bit of a curio. I think it's a a um, hair tie, a hair elastic, should I say, with a novelty piece on it. Looks ugly anyway. Looks like it's been in the weather. Um, let's see how we make this one turn up a treat. Okay, let's see what this piece is. It is, as I was saying, it was a hair tie or hair elastic and it's got some elephant type creature on it. Looks ugly. Um, yeah, that it does. The underside looks like it's going to sit flatter than that. That looks nicer there. I'm trying to focus that. So it's not focusing very well. So I think the I think we can put it this way. I'm not going to bloody focus on that ugly elephant head. It looks ugly anyway. Fuck, I hate it. I'm going to put a white sheet behind it. I'm going to squash it. That's what you get when you're trying to make ends meet. Sometimes you find good stuff and sometimes you find shit like that. But when this kind of shit is all you can find some days, you take it. And you can also make some good stuff out of this shit. Even if it does, you wouldn't think it would look any good. Um, there's the elephant's head. Looks ugly. It does. It looks fucking ugly. It looks fugly. I'm going to turn it this way. I want to have this looking nice. This fugly looking piece. Yeah, that's a better positioning. We're just going to ignore the elephant's head and we're just going to focus on, on this nicer looking piece. Um, that looks a lot nicer than the elephant. Obviously it's not a nice piece to work with, as in it looks ugly. Fucking ugly. Fugly. Ugly shit. But it's been on the street and it's probably been there probably at least for weeks, if not months, for all we know. Uh, you know, it's really ugly looking, but, you know, what can you do? Just line that up at the edge there, like so. Fucking ugly, fugly. <laughs> Yeah, that's come up looking quite interesting. You still see a bit of the elephant, um, but it looks really quite interesting. We're going to do something, we're just going to switch over to dot matrix. So 
it's an ugly piece, this elephant head. Uh, but, you know, you can make some good shit out of this kind of crap. Yeah, that's come up looking quite interesting. Uh, wondering where the centre of the job is going to be. I think it's going to be there. Makes me think of uh, an imaginary friend that missed that Big Bird had on Sesame Street, the old Mr. Snuffleupagus. And I've got a friend called Luigi who I'm hoping to get in touch with. And he, like Mr. Snuffleupagus, I can't find him, uh, but I'm hoping to find him eventually. And he'll know, and people probably think, oh, he's in, an imaginary friend. You know, like, an, like Big Bird, an imaginary friend. But basically, um, he's not. He's real. But no one knows who the fuck he is. Except me. And, and Yeah, except me. I don't know of anyone that actually knows him. Otherwise, I could potentially be uh, put in touch with him earlier. So no one knows who the fuck he is. That I know. And I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9 to get in touch with my partner, Luigi, because I'm really lonely without him. And he's not an imaginary friend, and even Mr. Snuff I got, Mr. Snuffleupagus was finally shown that he was real, that they showed, showed him on that show. I know it's not Channel 9, it's Channel, I think it was ABC. Uh, but basically, um, I'm interested in Channel 9, airing my stuff but that that memory of Sesame Street goes back to my childhood uh, and and that Mr. Snuffleupagus indeed I remember him and how he was an imaginary friend so yeah but I'm still <laughs> it's not I haven't sent anything to the ABC for a long time I've decided that Channel 9 have got the best um, the best um, that I could have and that's come up looking better than I thought I think we can now call Mr. Snuffleupagus, or at least talking about him, finished. <laughs>